It's your pal Digital D again, and this week we're talking about something really exciting, and that's money, all right? Money is really important, right? Because with money, we're able to go buy stuff that we need and stuff that we want. So as kindergartners, when we first start talking about money, we start talking about coins or the change, those little pieces of money that your parents might carry around, or maybe you have some coins that you put in a piggy bank at your house. All right, so today, let's review what we know about the coins we use as part of our money. In Lesson 28B of Ready Math, we work on identifying the coins we use as part of our money system in the United States. So let's look at some of these coins that we use all the time. So the first coin we're going to look at is the penny. And so we see that word written up there. It starts with that P, penny. And the penny is worth one cent. And so when you look at the penny, you'll see that it is the only coin that we have of, of these that we're looking at that's a different color. It's kind of a brown color, all right, because it's made out of something different than the rest of our coins. The penny has Abraham Lincoln on the front of it and the Lincoln Memorial on the back of it, all right? And it is worth one cent. That's our smallest unit of money that we use in the United States is one penny, or what we would say as one cent. The next coin we're going to look at is the nickel. And so you see that word up there, and it starts with an N, nickel. And the nickel looks like this. So again, it has someone's head on the front and then a building on the back. And so that person on that one is Thomas Jefferson. And on the back is the house that he lived in, right? He was one of our first presidents, just like Abraham Lincoln was one of our presidents and he's on the penny. So those are the penny and the nickel, all right? Now, the nickel <coughs> is bigger than the penny in shape and size, all right? And it is worth five cents, all right? So it takes one penny, one cent, one nickel is five cents, and it takes five pennies to make one nickel, all right? And we talk about how much it's worth. There's one cent and then five cents. The next coin we're going to look at is the dime. The dime is actually smaller in size than both the penny and the nickel, all right? If you look at a dime compared to the size of a penny and nickel, the dime is smaller in size, but it's worth more money. It is worth 10 cents, all right? And so the front of it, we have another um, former president there. And on the back, we have this weird design. It looks like some kind of plants and like a, what we'd say, like a torch or a lamp. So that one looks a little different than the other ones we've looked at. All right, there's not a building on the back of it. And also, like I said, it's smaller than both the penny and the nickel when it comes to its size, but it's worth more. It's worth 10 cents. The last uh, coin we're going to look at is the quarter, all right? And on the quarter, we have our first president, George Washington. He's there on the front. And then on the back, we see a picture of this eagle, all right? And it represents our country. And so that is the quarter. And so we look at that word. We have that Q-U blend there at the front. And that word is quarter. And the quarter is worth 25 cents. So it is the biggest of the coins we're looking at because it's larger than the other three. But then it's also worth more than the other three coins we're looking at. So the quarter is worth 25 cents. All right, so those are the four coins that we're going to talk about as kindergartners, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. All right, and we're going to talk about how much they're worth. Now, there might be some other coins that you have seen before. We have other coins that we use in the United States, and our money also looks different from the money of other countries, all right? So our money has a lot of our presidents on it, all right? People that were presidents of the United States. Other countries have different people on their money. Now, the United States coins do not always look the same. 
For instance, sometimes we change what the back of it looks like, but it doesn't change what kind of coin it is. For instance, right now we're talking about quarters. We're looking at that eagle on the back of the quarter. Well, sometimes the United States does special things with our money. And so you may have seen some backs of some quarters that look like this. We decided to make a special quarter for each state that we have in the United States. And so the front of the quarter looks the same. It still has George Washington on it. But on the back of the quarter, we have a different picture for each of our 50 states. So let's take a closer look at which one Tennessee looks like. And you may have seen this quarter before. All right, again, the front of the quarter has, still has George Washington on it, but on the back, it's a special quarter just for Tennessee, talking about things that are um, famous from Tennessee, like music. Music's a really important part of our culture here in Tennessee. And we also see the three stars that show up on our Tennessee flag. So sometimes our money does change a little bit in the design, but it does not change the value. So even though the back of these coins could look different sometimes, usually the front is going to stay the same and the money it's worth, the value of those coins doesn't change when we change what the back side looks like. So let's look at how much these coins are worth. So we talked about the penny with Abraham Lincoln there on the front of it. And that's the only coin that we have that's kind of a different color what we're looking at today. And that's kind of a brown color, all right? And so the penny is our smallest coin when it comes to talking about how much it's worth. And it's only worth one cent. So in our 10 frame here, I just put one because it's only worth one cent or one penny. But when we look at the nickel down here, that bigger silver coin, I filled in five spots on my 10 frame because the penny is only worth one, but the nickel is worth five cents. All right, so we have one cent and then we have five cents. We have a penny and a nickel. And if you'll remember the dime, which is the picture there at the bottom, that's our smallest coin in size. It's smaller than the penny and the nickel when you stack them up, but it's worth more money. So look at that picture. How much is the dime worth? Can you tell? How many dots did we fill in on our 10 frame? Well, I filled in all 10 of them. So the dime is worth 10 cents. All right, so let's look again. Penny is one cent. I'm going to write it over here. We use one and then we use our cent symbol. So it's a little C with a little line through it. When we talk about our nickel, how many did I fill in on my 10 frame? I filled in five, that top row. So a nickel is worth five cents. And then what's this one down here at the bottom? What type of coin is that? Yeah, it's the dime, and it is worth how many cents? We filled in our whole 10 frame, so the dime is worth 10 cents. So which coin have we not looked at the value of? That's right, we have one more, and that is the quarter, all right? So the quarter with George Washington there on the front of it. Of our four coins we're looking at as kindergartners, we said the quarter is the biggest in size, and it's also the biggest in value. It's worth a lot. Look at the picture of all those 10 frames on there. I have three different 10 frames that I had to fill in to show how much the quarter is worth. So let's count together. We know that we can count by tens. If we look at this is all filled in, there's 10 there and there's 10 more here. So that's 10, 20, and then we get to this last 10 frame. We didn't fill in all of it, but we did fill in the top row, which means we filled in five. So we have 10, 20, and then we have 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And that shows how much our quarter is worth, 25 cents. Good work, friends. Coins can be confusing. We think about 
how much they're worth, all right, and their sizes can really play tricks on this, all right? So we have to know the value or how much it is worth when we think about those different coins that we use part of our money. And that helps us as we buy things and we spend that money. So one thing you can do is ask your parents to help you practice identifying the names of those coins and maybe counting how much those coins are worth. That's a great way to keep counting as we go throughout the summer. It's been a great year, friends. You've done a lot of hard work. So I'm so proud of everything you've done this year. And I'm just going to remind you one more time. So I'll see you again. Don't forget to keep counting.